Welcome to ECU Flash Training Part 4. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our Tefra V7 ROM, as well as taking a look at our XML files and how they're going to be important in opening up our different file types in our ECU Flash software. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Tefra V7 ROM in our ECU Flash software. So the Tefra V7 ROM is going to give us a way that we can standardize our tuning process for the EVO 8 and EVO 9 applications. It's going to allow us to have a lot more features and functions than what Mitsubishi has designed the ROMs to come with from the factory. So the standardizing part, uh, let's talk about that real quick and why this is going to be really key. If we go here to ROM info and we go here into the market, we can see that it's a JDM market vehicle in this particular EVO 8 stock file, year 2004, and the internal ID here, uh, this strand of numbers, this corresponds to this year and this market. Now within the same year and the same market, we can have several different uh, internal ID or ROM types. That can be a little bit confusing when you're doing your tuning process. Um, if you're trying to add a feature or function in, you're going to have to constantly patch the XDML code in the background so that you're going to be able to add features and functions in. That's going to get really redundant. It's going to take a lot of time. Now we haven't talked about our XML files, but the XML file is going to be what allows ECU Flash to show the data that's in here. So if we take a look here at our Turbo, for example, we see all these tables. The reason why we see this that's available here in the ROM and the reason we see the table is because this file has the proper XML code that has been added in here. So what we'll find is that the creator of the ROM, Tefra, decided to make more standardized ROM, that we have one ROM type or one ID type that we're gonna be uploading and working with for EVO 8s, and then one for EVO 9s. That's gonna be simplifying this process of redundancy, constantly having to add and patch code in to XML files and constantly adding things into the actual ROMs, which is just standardizing everything. It really makes things a lot easier. So let's take a look at the Tefra ROMs. I actually have them in a folder here. Let's minimize this right now. I have a folder that I put together to uh, include with this training course. Double click here. We're gonna find we have some folders within this folder. Now, we are going to find here that we have uh, the numbers associated with the file type or the ROM type. And in this case right here, we have 88590715. That's gonna be associated with an EVO 9. We can see here Tefra Mod V7. And then we'll find 941 evo 8 Tefra, Tefra Mod uh, V7. So this is going to be for the EVO 8. This is going to be for the EVO 9. Now within the folder... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.